Hi, Mark Anthony here to show you the simple way to make the best mashed potatoes. And uh, I've got some potatoes cooking over here. These have been cooking for about 30 minutes. And as you can tell, I try to dice them all and make them pretty even pieces. And you really do have to overboil these. You have to overcook them. Uh, a lot of times people just don't give them enough cooking time. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna start ricing these. And uh, what I have here is a potato ricer. And you can see the moisture that's in there right now. And we're just gonna run every one of these through the potato ricer. A uh, lot of people will try using a whip. And you can whip these, sure. Uh, but they just don't get near as fluffy as the potato ricer does. Uh, you'll also see some people that uh, try to put it in a blender. <laughs> and let me tell you, if you put it in a blender, you're going to end up having a major um, starchy problem um, where it really sticks together like glue. Have you ever seen somebody's potatoes that are like glue? That's usually because they did them in a uh, uh, blender or a uh, uh, over whipping. Now the potatoes I'm using here, just to let you know, these are the russet potatoes. You actually want a higher starch potato uh, when you're going to be doing this type of thing. And either this type of potato, uh, Yukon Golds work really good for mashed potatoes. Uh, those higher starch content potatoes usually work the best. And like you can see, this doesn't take very long. And uh, we've got a, we're making a big batch today. So, and I never put anything in the water. I just uh, boiled it up plain, no added salts or anything in the water there. So, and I'm gonna get every one of these too. I know, sometimes I just like to do things right. Okay, so just like that, boom. These are great, about 20 bucks on the internet. Uh, that's the best one I've seen out there. Okay. Now, you could almost whip this into a pure fluff right now. I'm gonna add a couple of my favorite ingredients. Uh, nutmeg is the secret ingredient. You put nutmeg in your potatoes, it's gonna be the wow factor. That's the one thing that I have taken with me in different restaurants all over the country, and it just blows them away. Uh, some salt, just your basic salt. This right here is a butter flavor. Uh, which you can find different butter flavors here and there. Uh, white pepper, some people don't use the white pepper, but that is one of the essential little ingredients to a real wow factor on a potato. Um, the other thing I have right here is garlic. And you all know how I buy my garlic like this. What I like to do is just press in here and pull out some of the juice, just like that. You got some of the juice. And you could actually put the garlic and everything in here. It's a garlic mashed potato that way. Um, I'm not gonna get too carried away today. And then we're gonna add our milk. Wanna make sure that you do not use the vanilla milk because uh, vanilla just isn't the flavor that really works with this. Uh, so we just use a plain almond milk is what I'm using today. Uh, anything plain will do. And you will notice that I hardly have to whip this at all. I really have no effort whatsoever with whipping this. Just like that, and it's already done. It is that easy, and you will see how fluffy this is. It'll actually just blow you away. I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk, and you can heat this up if you want. Some people heat it up. But as you can see, with the little amount that I'm using, I really don't need to heat it up because it's hot. It's, it's already hot. So that fast and easy, and you've got whipped mashed potatoes. So how easy is that? And I'm gonna share with you what we can do here. If you wanted, let's say, to have your whipped mashed potatoes, there you go. You've got your whipped mashed potatoes. And you can see how fluffy they really are. I mean, it's just fluff. That's the thing that the ricer does for you that is very well. Now, Let's take it one step farther, and I'm going to bring over the um, uh, 
cauliflower that I've got cooking here. And the reason I did this in two sections is because I know there's a couple people that are gonna be eating this that don't like cauliflower. Of course, I put these in here, they probably won't even know they're there. So we're gonna add some cauliflower to the second batch here. And it's almost a, well, maybe about 30% cauliflower. And boom. Got to be careful when you put this through the ricer, but it does go through. Then we've got a cauliflower mashed potato. How easy is that, huh? Just like that. And you might need to kick it up a notch. We can taste it here and see how our flavor is. Pretty good, might just add a little bit more salt to it. Just like that, you've got a whipped cauliflower mashed potato. And we can put this in a container here. That's what you want, you want the fluff. You want that whipped, fluffy mashed potato. So there you go, that easy to have your mashed potatoes. And if you want, you can kind of give them a little design work. A lot of times I'll do some fun little sides on them like this. And uh, these little edges will um, work when you're gonna add a little butter to it. And I've got my one container here melting, which is what I use for my melting butter. And then you can just put this into those little grooves. And some people don't like the butter. Some people are going uh, with the uh, low oil. You don't even have to do this. So, but it's just a visual appeal. And um, people see that butter on there, they're like, wow. And I can take it one step farther here let me grab some uh, parsley flakes and uh, yeah, that is my spice jar, by the way, my entire spice rack. So if you want to give it another visual appeal like that, but one with, one without. So we've got two different types of potatoes here. Same concept. Best thing to do is use um, a potato ricer. You will get the fluffiest by all, without a doubt. And that's what we're looking for is the fluff. So that easy, Mark Anthony here showing you the simple, fast, easy way to make mashed potatoes. Even with the um, cauliflower, you can do a cauliflower mashed and even boil it together. But make sure you boil your potatoes, over boil them uh, so that they're 25, 30 minutes. Uh, use a good potato and there you go. You've got it done. So Mark Anthony, great to see you again and uh, we'll see you next time in the kitchen.